Hello everyone, welcome to Sharing Life Issues with Her Excellency Hadja Amit. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I hope everybody is doing well today. I'm doing well. I give thanks to the Almighty Allah. May the Almighty Allah and the Almighty God continue to protect you and I. Before I forget, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you have not subscribed yet. And kindly click on the thumbs up. Thank you for always coming to this space. I love it when you come around here. I'm going to go ahead and read you the stories from our inbox, the true life story. It states, hide my identity, ma. Good morning, Her Excellency. I'm 32 and my guy is 31. We are both from different tribes, also not in Nigeria. We met here and started dating. He engaged me and the introduction was done at home. Both families met and it was good. So wedding plans have already started. Even we have started buying things little by little at home. But the problem now is that anytime we have misunderstanding, the next thing he will tell me is that I should call my family and tell them to stop the wedding preparation, that he will call his family too. Every little argument, he is always telling me that. But when we settle, he will say it's because he was angry that he did not call his family. Because of these issues, I don't even feel comfortable talking with his family the way I used to. Because he always says I will call my family. Tell them you have a bad character that he can't continue with the wedding plans. Now and again, we have misunderstanding few days back. He immediately sent me same message that he is not doing again. That is going to call his family to stop everything. And this time he now blocked me. Now I am totally confused. I don't know if I should call his family. No one has talked to me since then. Or I should just start all over with my life again. And again, I don't even know how to face my family with all this embarrassment and disgrace. This will cost them because the introduction was done big. So many people attended. Please Hadja, Ma, I need your genuine advice. I look at my age, I feel scared and we have dated for over three years now. Should I find a way to beg him? Even though I feel I always do the begging more, he always says, I don't like the way you talk to me. Meanwhile, I feel he talks to me more badly. I always try to ignore and take the blame. Always. Please, should I just move on since he has blocked me this time and face life? Anyhow, it's going to be. I'm totally down and confused. I'll be reading you the comments and feedback from our esteemed platform, our shared life issues with Her Excellency Hajja Ami. Ami Naharuna stated, forget about him and move on. If he is yours, he will come back for good. And if he is not yours, you will come. Every disappointment is a blessing. Absolutely. Jeremiah Nadabu stated, you are even lucky that he's shown you all these signs before the marriage proper. Move on with your life. Your future is with someone else. That's coming from a man. Garba Rukayat Mojitola Ibrahim stated, forget about him for now. Ignore him too, but don't involve your family. If he is meant for you, he will definitely come back. And Hakim Kikiri Ekum stated, from almost everyone here saying move on without him. Hmm, I would like to be different. Please check yourself and know what you think you're doing wrong also. What he's doing wrong. Find someone who can talk sense into him. Oluwayemi C. Yusuf stated, please let him be for now. Just look out for what always makes you happy. Do it so that you won't be disturbed. If he is your true man, he will come back. And if he didn't come back, leave him, forget about how your parents will feel 
broken relationships are better than broken marriage and remember anything you cannot correct while dating you cannot correct after marriage oh my sister look before you leap shade prince if we stated forget the embarrassment it will cost move on this one is using you jamil khalid stated my sister forget this guy and move on with your life mr right will surely come for you inshallah if you eventually marry this guy when he gets angry you will regret it absolutely this is coming from a man and i stated the guy is just doing like he's doing you a favor by getting married to you and there are some other red flags i'm noticing from your stories i would advise you move on with your life you deserve better allah slash god is showing you a beautiful sign that he is not yours call your parents and tell them the whole thing and also they should stop with the preparation then pick up your life and start afresh there's a big thing the lord is planning for you i'm sorry about this i can imagine how you feel please do not call him again i know you feel very emotional right now but you must activate your head over your heart do not call any member of his family no matter how embarrassed you are please talk to your own family they never throw you away i know his type of man he still has a lot of maturity to do you guys may still get back together but by then he would have been cured of this manipulative spirit he has been told that women are helplessly seeking husbands and that you have no choice but to put up with his childish behavior or that you will be too ashamed to escalate the matter because of the fear of what will people say leave him to come to his senses by himself and when he does let him go around and apologize to everyone for refusing to grow up he will never stop threatening you if you don't nip this in the butt now nah. the highest that can happen is that people will gossip about your cancelled marriage and failed relationship or wedding it won't last and another juicy gist will come up before going forward let him learn how to express displeasure without being a drama king bele sanu undo i said sorry in three different languages in the nigerian languages the yoruba hausa and igbo and i got some response from our members archer life issues with her excellency ajami to what i have written shitu idaya stated god will increase your wisdom and knowledge you just nailed it allahumma ami and sally joy lawal stated you have said it all mommy mommy means my mom thank you my love dr okpabio udwak stated you said it all thank you my badest professor and doctor ali joyous agada stated my candid advice is for you to move on with your life because he does not love you in every relationship there is bound to be mistakes arguments and misunderstanding from his threats alone is a sign that he does not love you at all and please my dear sister no matter what happens to you in life learn to leave yourself first don't take blames for what is not your fault or for somebody's mistakes know your fundamental human rights know your worth don't beg anybody to be accepted lastly ask god to direct you to the rightful and godly spouse that will love you respect your feelings accept you for who you are the spouse that will correct you in love when you make mistakes that spouse that will be proud of you in all you do remain super blessed there thank you so much my queen that was a wonderful feedback right there and i believe you said it all we have a lot of feedbacks and a lot of comments she to idaya stated is 
not treating you as you like, but you are afraid what the society will say. My advice, try to be strong and face reality of life. Your own is coming. Iabo Kabeu stated, red flag my sister. He believes he's doing you a favor by wanting to marry you. There is nothing to feel ashamed of. Love yourself first before anyone. Latifa Ade Kemi Olariwaju stated, Sorry to say, but your husband-to-be is still a child. Babe, is better now than later. So when you are married, any misunderstanding, he will send you out of the house, Abi. I beg, move on, Jare. Jo. Kubi Ogundira Ade Goki stated, Whatever you see in relationship, you will definitely see more. In marriage, so be wise from experience. He is not the last born of men. Bam. Sulaiman Masurat Olawumi stated, My dear, this is just the beginning of the end. If he tells you to tell your family to stop the wedding, please do it better to have a broken relationship than a broken home. See, when you married him, he will manipulate you, torture you, emotionally and hide under a small mistake you have and his family will show back him how i wish i see people to tell me before i entered into marriage with my ex-husband sending you healing sis oluwa pelumi rafia stated he is a mommy's boy kafaya ebun oluwa stated people like them will make you feel less of yourself just move on ishawo aziza stated Move on with your libel because no sign of love and maturity in him. So it is very likely you have problems in the marriage. And as of your age, you will definitely find your own man. Nothing do you. Oye Doi, blessing Oye Kule Ajibade, stated activist Ewa Bawa Dasio Oro Yio. So she paint some activists and stated that they should come and do the needful and comment on the stuff say, stating your attention is needed and she said simple advice move on with your life David Ismail Adidoe stated it is better you take to reality now and move on you are not too old to get another man it is better now than be in a relationship that would not give you rest of mind Fei Ogunle Shin stated, he is not ready to start a home, so please let him be, oh, before we start reading stories that touch the heart. You are very right, ma. Eshon Goma, Olorad, continue, Latima, Reilo, as you have always shared your good, impactful feedbacks to all victims at Sharing Life. We do appreciate you always, ma. Oboho. Talobi Ofurumazi stated, red flag, red flag, please marriage no be play -o. So decide carefully before you enter there. Abdurrahman Sani said, one of the signs that shows the potential wedding or marriage will not work. A sign to let you know clearly he's been a narcissist. You are lucky because you are yet unmarried in him. Reach out for your family and begin with a request that his paid dowry be refunded. Tell them the truth. Don't hide anything. Reveal everything you knew from your courtship in him. Be brave. Be bold. Grab bulls by the horn. You must feel important. He's not ready for any marriage in you. He's been flirting and toying in you. He's got you flattered in the idea of marriage. You could be under a spell. He will have done juju on you. Voodoo. The spiritual manipulation. He's not ready for any marriage. It's been unfortunate that he wasn't eager to settle down with you. Wise up, brace in, embrace confident. No go marry beast, a bego to. Hadja Rashida DC stated, This is a red flag manipulator. Adebukola Bubolo stated, What exactly are you confused about? Anyways, a broken relationship is better than a broken marriage. It's obvious you want to spend the rest of your life with a boy, not a man. My two cents. Oshin Debbie Uluwabu Kolami Akin Telluri 
stated, I beg, run to avoid stories that touch the hat is not ready. Zainab Abdurrahman stated, hmm, this is a big red flag. He can go to the extent of blocking you. And you, on the other hand, is looking for how to reach out to him. Me, I believe as human, anyone that can displace me, I should be able to do that too. You have to be very strong and forget about him because he has moved on. Not only you date that relationship, meaning you're the only one in the relationship. Please make up your mind not to wait for him, but to build your life. Your age shouldn't matter at all. So far, you know that you are a woman. You shall find the right person. Delay is not denial. I come in peace. And she put the two piece sign. Absolutely, you're right. For Larisha Akinade Morris Olatunde stated, My sister, it rains everywhere. Try to understand him. Look for someone he respects so much. Talk to the person. Every relationship has challenges. May God perfect yours too. Let him know that he is hurting you. That's coming from a man. Sarah Ahmed, my baddest UN worker and my baddest sister, a friend who has been a friend forever, stated, just forget about the guy and move on because this is how it will be in marriage. In fact, it will be magnified in marriage. Absolutely, you said it all. Ola Nike Fola Shade stated, Jakba, Jakba means run in Yoruba. I mean, move on with your life. So you heard the feedback from our sharing life issues with Her Excellency Haji Ami from our esteemed members. Do kindly drop down your comments down below. Do not forget the red button is the subscription button. If you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, feel free to share our videos to your family and friends. And do not forget to click on the thumbs up. I love you and I would love to see more of you around the space remember we are sharing true life stories so that we all can learn from it so you can always send us your true life story to our platform on facebook at sharing life issues with her excellency Haji Ami. we have all other platforms on tiktok and instagram and i would like to end it with prayer bismillahirrahmanirrahim May the peace and blessings of the Almighty Allah and the Almighty God continue to be on you and I. Thank you for coming down here again. Remember, click on that subscription button. Subscription is free. I love you. Peace out. Bye.